Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these defenses make highlight reels all the time because they will flat knock the taste out of your mouth. But perhaps even more impressive, this is not just a group that only delivers big hits. Both groups extremely well-rounded from the front all the way to the secondary. Tough to find a weakness on either side on defense. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. City, Iowa becomes the battleground for these two teams in this college football matchup. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 24-yard line. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Taken down right around the 34. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. From their own 34-yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Edwards gets about a yard on the play. Scrambling, tries to get around the corner. He's at midfield. Fumble, loose ball. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Man left, man left. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Caught open field. And down he goes around the 30 yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a team of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Oh, oh, oh. 
He's tackled around the 10-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he's tackled around the two-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He tackles him for a loss. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. And this is the 10th play of the drive. for it and a major collision. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Nebraska is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Thompson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Huff's got to forget about all the distractions, and that includes talking about winning awards. And in talking to him, he seems like a pretty focused, driven guy, and I think he's all about team. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Mike 15! Mike 15! Runs left and quickly taken down. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 24. Let's go! Green 88! Green! Check, check! Big dog! Big dog! And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. Third down. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And he's taken down at the 40. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. And they'll run him again. They'll bring him down right around midfield. Strike and he can't pull it in. Moore was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 50, it's second down. Four down, four down. Hey, look, we're gonna go Mike 15, guys. Mike 15, all right? Ready! Green 19! Green 19! Throws complete, he's got space to work. Tackle made around the 38 yard line. If you're the defense, try to cover this guy with. He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Here we go! He's at the 30. Tackle at the 24. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. This is the eighth play of this drive. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. So at the end of one, the Cornhuskers lead 3-0.
And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Looks middle, tight end, touchdown. So this entire group functioned so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. He makes the PAT. So a 10-play, 77-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. Run. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Nice run there. Edwards gets seven yards on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Caught over the middle. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Dotson's on the tackle at the 38-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. A four-yard gain by the halfback on the option. That makes it second and six. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. The Cornhuskers have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. And he makes it out to about seven-yard line. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 31. Call it a game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 31 yard line, first down. He's at the 20. Makes his way out to about the 15. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look.
Knocked out of bounds at the 13. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 13. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He fights forward to about the 10. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. An 11-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 10-7. Thompson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Gathered in at the six. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Throws it, and it's tipped away. You know, for you young cornerbacks and young defensive backs, this is a great example of just being smart and efficient as a defender. Instead of taking a chance and going for that interception, he was smart. He got in position, knocked the football away, and didn't give the receiver a chance to make a play on the football. And he's tackled at the 43. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Young sets up the play action. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. You know, a new trend that we've seen the last couple years in college football is finding ways to get the big, strong, athletic tight end football in space. I love the design of the play by the play caller. The problem is the quarterback needs to throw the ball more accurately. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Nebraska holds a field goal lead. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's finally shoved out at the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, first down. Here he goes. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. And for Hill, he goes over the 100-yard mark for rushing. And that is a great pass. 
He's a very athletic quarterback, and he's showing it today. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Young play in the first half has been impressive, and that's the way he's played quarterback all season long and in this first half, too. But right now he needs some help, Kirk, and I think he's about ready to go over the sideline and start kicking some panties. I think he better, Brad. I think you're right. He's playing well enough for this team to win, but unfortunately they're losing. They still have a lot of football left to go, and I'm with you. I think one way to try to get this team to turn it around is he's going to have to provide that leadership, maybe challenge him a little bit on the sideline and, and definitely at halftime and try to get him ready to go in the second half. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 17-7, Nebraska. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Nebraska is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. Tackle after a decent pickup. to the 47. First down, 10 to go. Ball of their own 47. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop around the 50-yard line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 50. Green 90. Green 
Runs right for a nice game. Game of seven in play. That'll bring up third and inches. him hard at the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, first down. And he's taken down at the 29. Here's the eighth play of the series. The Hawkeyes running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. Play action. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Second and 10. Ball in the 29. Fights forward to about the 29. That brings up third and 10. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here's the halfback on the screen. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Yeah, they went with a toss play here, but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled. You got to give them credit for making a great play. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Decent run here, right side. Third down. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Brought down around the 39-yard line. That's a deal of the First down. Around the 42 yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 42. They'll bring him down at the 50. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. He's scrambling. And now the ball is loose. The offense scoops it. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's a deal of one on the That brings us second and nine. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Third down and they need to get it to the 28.
dumps it incomplete one of the screen so at the end of the third quarter Nebraska leads it 17 7. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nebraska's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And it's a group of 11. They play like they know they're going to stop you. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. And down he goes at about the 25-yard line. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25. Mike 15. Mike 15. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Oh. Oh. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Six-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Here's a run. He's tackled at the 37. Complete the tight end over the middle. That's a game seven. That makes it third and three. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Hey, look, we're going to go Mike 15, guys. Mike 15, all right? Set, line 80. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 44 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets it out in a hurry. Good tackle there in space. That's a big play right there. If they can get this ball into the end zone, you're looking at a one-possession game. Number nine of this current drive. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. He's under pressure. Throws and it's incomplete. That'll make it fourth and ten. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and he got it. to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way.
Zips it to the back. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a game of 14 yards. yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 39. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's going to try and scramble. And now he's going to run. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. So the scramble goes for nine yards. The Hawkeyes taking their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He fights forward to about the 49. A one-yard gain by the halfback, Iowa. We'll have one timeout remaining. He makes it out to midfield, and that run will move the chain. Oh, boy, that was a tough one to give up for that defense. Iowa's called their final timeout. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 45-yard line. off left and they got him behind the line. Up the middle for a nice game. Edwards picks up about four yards on the play. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 17-10, Cornhusker. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. I'm sad to see this one end because it was a great game to watch. Iowa had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.